What is up, Buffalo Fanatics, Zbot, Rico, and the man himself, the motor, Devin Singletary, sitting down with us here at West Term Media Day. Back at it again, a year removed. Another conversation with Devin, and it's awesome to have you. I know Rico and I were talking off air, and we wanted to start here with you. We just wanted to talk about, you know, right off the bat here, a bit of a switch up coming into the season this year in the running back room. Yeah. Talked about it with you last year. You made it seem like you guys are real close. You bring in James Cook this year. Yeah. Have you had a chance to meet him yet? Mm-hmm. And with that, is the running back room itself, is it easy to adjust to adding a new guy to the roster when you guys are already in that spot? Yeah, so for me, like me and Cook, I've been new Cook. Okay. Know? Yeah, so I've been new Cook. So it was, when he got drafted, it was love. You know, I'm like, all right, little bro coming. Yeah. We about to be turned. Um, but, shoot, for, in the running back room, it's mostly Florida guys, and that's South Florida guys. So mm-hmm. they just got that Florida connection. It's like we just automatically click. So right off the bat, I mean, there was there was no time to waste. You guys were already. Yeah, that's that's really how it was. Even when Duke, even with Duke, right? Had, you know what I'm saying? It just it just clicked. Because you told me last year, like right out the gate, you guys were like this, like yeah. you could, and you all work out together and whatnot. And yeah. so me, nothing, me and Cook work out together. Oh no kidding! Uh-huh. Yeah. So I, you, uh, we were talking about the tandem. Yeah. So I, I wanted to jump in on that. Um. So you got all South Florida dudes in in the locker room, but yeah. you started the league. With the goat, you know what I'm saying? The exactly, exactly. So, how does that differentiate now? You went from being the young cat in the locker room with OG yeah. and Frank Gore. He's knocking blocks off right now. He's boxing. He's doing his thing right now. Now you got a whole bunch of young cats in the game. Like you, yeah. you like the vet. You and Duke are the vet. Right, so, right. what's the difference now? What's the vibe difference? Um, I mean, the vibe's still good. It's just like you said. I'm the vet now. And yeah. in in well, it's not even I'm the vet because you you got you got Duke in there. He older than me. And Taiwan, they, he older True. than me. So it's like I'm in the middle, but I mean it's cool, you know. I'm I'm good on dropping jewels, whatever it may be. You can lean on me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The first thing I thought of when the Bills take James Cook, I thought of you. And the reason because the reason for that, you look around this league now, the more you have at your disposal at that position, I look at Cleveland as a great example, a, an unbelievable tandem in Cleveland. Uh-huh. When you look at that, you bring another guy in, does that get you excited to know that you have someone else to add to your game, allow the running back position to further succeed on this team alongside with you, have another guy the Bills look at and they trust to add with you to really become an even more important part of this offense? Oh, yeah, man. I think it's dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you got, the better. And then, shoot, it's helping us last. You know, our body's not taking a beating and all that. So... I'm with it. Okay, so then, see, I got, I got a problem with that. Yeah. Okay. And and I need you to shed some light for me because okay. I guess I'm old school when I when I think of RB, I think of 15 to 25 touches a game. It gets you in the rhythm, right? That's you true. know that. That's true. That's so true. when you have two or three guys sharing the rock, I know you guys are family. I know it's good, but like, yeah. aren't you like, man? I need, give me, give me, give me rhythm. I need 10 more touches, Dabo. I need 10 more. Ken, give me something. Are you not going to be in a way? Wondering, like, man, if I got 10 more, I could, I could break this game open. Right, Are right. you sharing the rock? Uh-huh. What's up? Well, I mean, like like I said, man, this ain't this is not the first time I've been in the backfield with, with multiple running backs. All right. You know what I'm saying? So it just really come out to, to see how I play out, really. You know, see how I play out. And then you got to make the best of whatever you get. When That's really what it come down to. Right. You know, when your opportunity comes, you got to be prepared. You know, And you can't. If you can't let you not getting 20 touches or whatever creep into your mind because with your 10 touches, you you might not be as good as you need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because your mind's somewhere else. Right. And I'm thinking like we talked about this a lot. Yep. I don't know what happened last year with you, but towards the tail end of the regular season, something clicked. You were on another level compared to the way the season started. just seemed like things were opening up for you. Right. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it was. What do you think it was? It just seemed the holes were opening up more. You were able to move better. I'm not entirely sure, but it, visually, it just seemed like your game went to another level as the season kind of progressed. Yeah, I think a part of it was, you know, the O-line got, got on the same page more, and um, I was able to, able to get in a rhythm, you know. I think that's what it came down to. In the rhythm, does that take time for you to build? Is that something that every season it kind of – or is, is it a matter of kind of all what goes into a particular season from year to year? Uh, yeah, because every year is different. Yeah. Every year is different, so you got to start off fresh every year. Like this year, you're going to have to start off fresh yeah. and, and get the groove back growing, going. But, you know, that's the, that's, that's the beauty of the game, you know. And I'm going I'm to I'm double up on that. So, you now, 
you're the you're the guy right now. So RB one in the backfield right now. You got Zach Moss, which I'm, I'm I I've been saying this that I think it's gonna be a big year for Zach. Mm-hmm. I know that I feel like he didn't have the year he wanted to last year, but I mean the team was having so much so much success, so you don't really dwell on that. But you have a three headed monster now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in a way, uh, I'm curious as to how you guys communicate with one another. Are you guys like all right? So like you're. How is it between the three of you guys when you guys are talking? Like, what you envision for the season? Right. What kind of I conversation mean, you guys have? Right now, it's kind of hard to tell because we, you won't really know until training camp towards the end of training camp. You okay. know, it'll kind of be a little more clear. Um, but right now, the conversations is just getting better. You know, we like whatever it is. Like, if, if I see something Zach didn't do, I'm gonna holler at him. If he see something I didn't do, he gonna holler at me. Vice versa. Even with Lil Cook, even though he a youngin, like if he see something like, hey, Motor, you could have did this. I thought, you know. That just we bouncing out ideas off each other and making each other better. You would talk to, uh, or you would learn a lot from Shady when you first came in, correct? Yeah, Shady and Frank Gore. Yeah, and Frank Gore. That's mm-hmm. right. The way you look at the younger guys now, as you, I mean, I'm sure it's crazy for you. The years go on, and all of a sudden, you're the guy that people look at. Do you think you take elements from what you learned from them and are able to apply that to the younger guys based on what you learned from the older guys when you first came in? Uh, yeah, I, w- I would say so a little. Um, you know, I can. Cause the juice that they dropped on me is, is work. It works. Right. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely pass that along. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So let me get, let me get, let me get you on this then. So the jewels that they dropped on you. So there's always something that someone said. It could be something that you don't think of it right away, but you're like, yo, that actually worked. What was it that Lashawn or Frank dropped on you? We're like, man, I'm, a, I'm gonna forever remember that. Yeah. I mean, just from Frank, it's just the work part. What you, what you do off the field with your okay. body. And you know what I'm saying? And that stuck with me because you're not, you know, your best ability is availability. Right. If I'm not available, then you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So, well, And he was available that, forever. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that, that's going to stick with me forever. So I got to double up on this. Yeah. So I'm, I, we can't even front. Uh-huh. I don't know what workout regimen you put on last year, but you were yoked up. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you've been eating. So <laughs> what has changed? Has anything changed? Are we are we doing the same thing we did last year? You running up hills and all that stuff. Has anything changed? No, I mean, I mean, if anything changed, I probably added a little here and there. Okay. You know, but it's it's the same for the most part. The main things are the same. And then if I felt like I needed a little tweaks in here, that's what I did. What's your cheat meal? Everyone has that cheat meal where mm-hmm. you're like, man, today I'm cheating. I'm eating this. What's the <sighs> cheat meal? I'm a, uh, it depends on where we at, but I'm trying to get a, a big boy steak. Like not not like no little ten. I need like a sixteen ounce or better, and then depending on where we at, I might get the the sweet potato casserole or you know some some of that nature. That's that's my cheat. Meal. You put the marshmallow on it. The sweet yes, potato. Oh. I need all that. I need all that. that is <laughs> next okay. Level. You know what I'm saying? So that'd we, be my cheat meal. I'm guessing you you would earn a cheat meal if the boys go out and get it done on the Thursday night opener. The season, the schedule comes out. Mm-hmm. Talk me through your initial thoughts when you realize you're opening up the year not only against the reigning Super Bowl champion, but you're opening it up. You're opening up the whole season. It's the Bills, prime time. You guys are becoming right. the national. I mean, the, the national headline. Oh, yeah. How did it feel to to know that? I mean, you're kicking the year off this year, and the time is now. Man, it's it's a it's lit. Like that's what I'm saying to myself. That's what my teammates are saying. It's lit. We ready to go. You know, we we honored to to play against the champions and kick off the season. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let's get it. You know, that was the feeling. The <laughs> let's get it. All right, yeah. listen, I gotta ask. I have to ask you a question. I mean, they, they poke fun at me. The people that know me, they poke fun at me because I play RB back in the day, and I love the position. Yeah. It is, the to me, the most important position other than quarterback. And we got to put some respect on the <laughs> RB name. Now, what is with the disrespect the RBs are getting these days? Put some. I mean, I need you to shed some light. Why yeah. is it that just they don't they don't value the RB position like they should? Right, right. I mean, talk to me. I'm not sure. I mean, we know we know it's a it's a quarterback driven lead. I think I think that plays a part. Um, but I'm not sure, man. Why they sleeping on the RBs, man? You got to have a good RB. You know what I'm saying? If that's catching the ball, running the ball, pass blocking, plays a big part. So yeah. I'm I'm not too sure why why they sleeping on the RBs right now, but that you know that's just what it is. Hopefully you know we can wake them up this year. To piggyback on that, because that's a good point you bring up. I'm sure you've heard this. It's a sin to draft a running back in round one. You hear that Get him, as Z-Bot. a running back. Mm-hmm. 
what it, from a running back? Because everybody wants to think that they know everything, right? right Especially right. when these guys, half of them, more than half of them, yeah. they, they, they never experienced it. Uh-huh. Coming from the person playing the position, when you hear that sentiment get thrown out left, right, and center, your thoughts overall on just the fact that nobody considers that position valuable enough to go round one with it? I mean, I feel like it's crazy because I like if, if the guy is worth it, you know, why not take him? Right. Because it's, it's guys out there that's worth it. Yeah. If he's first round talent, Yo, you get me first round. You're you getting know? me hyped up right now because <laughs> I feel it. If he's your guy, you go get him. Now, right. I will say this though. I gotta ask. Can I jump in? You, with all means. <laughs> so you sitting at home. Mm-hmm. You know you got Zach Moss in the you know Zach Moss is your neighbor. I don't know where he live at, but he's he, he's in the backfield with you. Yeah. And now there's rumblings that the Bills could probably be taking a running back in the first. Are you like I ain't trying to see them draft a running back in the first run? Or are you like, yo, the more the merrier, let's get this money, let's get this win, let's go. To me, it's just it is what it is. At that point, you know. Cause I, I know what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm capable of. And is what it is. Like that's that. that's my mindset. <laughs> I think that's the right mindset, though. Yeah. I mean, because if you didn't have that mindset, well, that's only doing you a disservice. It is right. It is. So it you take is. that. Does that? It's, it's got to fuel you in some regard, right? Just to make sure that you know, hey, even if I didn't need an extra bit of fuel, yeah. I'm going to use it as such. Is that something you look at it as, or? Nah, man. It's I'm already coming in with that fuel. On. I love that. You, know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> I love that. you don't need with, anything else. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, you got you got to be like that. Yeah. If not you're not gonna last long. Point bring clear. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how much, because now we're going into year four. Mm -hmm. How much does that sit on the back of your mind going in, yo, that's, I'm going into year four. That's like a a big year. Right. Or are you like, yo, I'm not even tripping on that. I'm just going to play my year out, do what I do. Or does it kind of play on the back of your mind? Like, I got to. I gotta perform because it's my fourth year. Because I can imagine the stress that could play on you. Yeah. Now for me, it's, man, because, I'm already thinking I gotta perform. I'm already like a show gotta be put on. I, I gotta, I gotta bring it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's not really playing in the back of my head because every year I'm looking to have that that type of year that you're talking about. Like yes. oh, I got, I gotta perform at this type of level. That's just my mindset already. So going into year four is is whatever because my mindset is already that. I love that because <laughs> the way we're talking here, it wouldn't matter if there was another running back in the room. It wouldn't matter if you were going into year two. I have a feeling your answers would be the exact same. No, they will. They will. I don't know how you can top that. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to jump in on that because uh, I'm sitting here like you're telling me, like, you know what I mean? It's kind of dog mentality. You, I mean, you're not even thinking about anything else. You know what I'm saying? And there's a whole lot of dogs on this team. Yeah, it is. I can't even front. I don't know if you're a dog lover, if you know dogs well. <laughs> if you were to tell us what kind of dog you'd be on this team. I asked Mackenzie this, this question. Last year, I ain't going to give you his answer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what you, do you know what kind of dog you'd yeah, be on this team? I'd be a pit bull or a cane corso. You need to explain yourself. <laughs> you need to explain Wait, yourself, my man. what was the man. second one? Cane corso. Oh, all right. It's a big boy dog. Yeah. Explain yeah. yourself, brother. I remember like, why I chose those dogs. Yeah, man. I mean, for one, a pit bull, have you ever seen them latch on to something? Oh, I have. When they, when they latch on, they not letting go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And those are determined dogs. Then with the cane corso, it's like, he he a pit bull with the size, and you know what I'm saying. That's he just a killer. That's the best way to put it. You know, that's the type of dog you want protecting your family and your house. You know? Damn, I didn't even think about it like that. I didn't I didn't expect that answer. Yeah, that's the type of dog you want. Yo, you rehearsed that one. You rehearsed I, that. You I knew. Did, I did. Man. <laughs> I love that. That's off the top. Yo, Yo, that's, that's a good nickname too, King Corso. King Corso. Shoot, we might forget about Mortar now. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, the pit man. Bull King sorry. Corso. Hey, before we, we wrap up here, I haven't had a chance to talk to anybody about this quite yet. This is your first year, all your guys' first year, under a new OC. You got Ken Dorsey. Yeah. Any inkling as of now, I know it's early, but any inkling as of right now as to how things might change based on what it used to be with Dable, now under Ken Dorsey, anything that you've seen thus far that you think could change that would be, that would be noticeable or something for you that you've personally experienced that has been different? Than it was under uh, um, Dable. So far, no. Nah. I mean, he bringing he bringing that energy. He bringing that dog mentality. Yeah. You know that that the whole team has. So as of right now, he he. I feel like he he's the guy for the job. He gonna get it done. How much does it matter to you though, to be able to you know? Obviously, I think it was inevitable, and I'm sure you guys knew it. Dable was gonna move on. The head coaching job was there. But it's got to mean a lot to you guys in the offensive room to have Ken Dorsey take the job when he's already in the locker room. Right, right. I mean, that's does having that guy already in 
the building play a massive role yes. in the relationship? It does. It does. Because we already had our, our own relationship with him yeah. already. Now he just he's just going into a different role, and we're building on that relationship. But yeah. it does help. I think it helps. Because I don't. Most teams don't get that luxury, and yeah. I think that when I was when we were looking at it, and it seemed like all you guys were really advocating for it too. Am, am I right? Yeah, man. I mean, we love Dorsey. Yeah, you know, that's that's our guy. Shoot. Dorsey gives me the impression. I don't know anything about that man, but uh-huh. he's like a just a nice guy. <laughs> he's a nice guy. <laughs> you know what here seems like a nice guy. <laughs> but like Dable, if I mean, I'm trying to compare the two, but Dable kind of gave you that rough. Got that beard, you know what I mean? That rough, yeah. you know what I mean? And Ken Dorsey's just that good, okay. good nice guy. Okay. Give, give it to me. What I'm going to tell you is don't let that fool you. Wow. I'm going to leave it at that. Just don't let that look fool you. Don't let it fool you. You know what I'm saying? Don't I, let that look fool you. And that's probably the answer we wanted to hear, I'm sure. That's what right. I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I, w- I want to jump in because you said your cheat your cheat meal is the steak, yeah. right? Are you, a, are you a medium well? Are you a well done? Are you a rare? Like, wh- what are you? Medium well. Medium well. Yeah, Tell medium. me you're not putting ketchup on your steak. Nah. No. You know who, who does, does that? Who does that? You know who does Isaiah? that. Isaiah? No, that's, that's, that's a brother coming from the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, saying, who, you know who does Mahomes that. Pat you Mahomes know eats his that. steak with ketchup. He's sitting there. What? I yeah, want you, you to next time you take no. a next time you take a carry against that D. I want you to keep that right here. <laughs> Come on, man. Think Catch about that steak. steak. No, yeah. we're not doing that. Nah, we're well, guess what? That. Pat Mahomes is, is doing that. So next time y'all play these these boys, remember ketchup and steak. All right, all right. King Corso, <laughs> ketchup on the steak. No way, you guys are going down. <laughs> that's what we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> Love so, that. ladies and gentlemen, that's that's our time with my my man Devin Singletary. Uh, Motor, aka King Corso, aka Pitbull. I'm gonna never let go. <laughs> King Corso, uh, we are locking that one. I, I think I like that a lot, man. That's a beautiful dog, too, man. I'm not going to lie. It is. I'm not going to lie. As uh, we send you off, I, I want to just add yeah, this, man. Rico. Your personal goal this season, Devin, and, I, and it could be anything, but going yeah. into the season, what's that personal goal? Man, for, for me, it's, it's always just being better than I was last year, mentally, physically, and then let the stats lay where they, stay, where they lay, you know what I'm saying? But I'm always just trying to be better in every way, you know what I'm saying? It's better than I was the year before. Is it? Can I I'm ask you a question? I, hey, listen, I had I've, this is twice in the twice in a row now. I've taken you on my fantasy team, and <laughs> am I going to be disappointed if I take in my fantasy team this year, Devin Singletary? Hey, man, I hope not. <laughs> he's the King Corso. There's no way he's like. <laughs> listen, not, man. every year I take you, and I just I have you on that squad, and you've performed for me some some moments, and there's Yo. but there's that touches. You know what I'm saying? It's all about touches. When you get your touches, you know that. I see the the head nod. So I get that. I get that. So I'm gonna take you this year. Yo. I need a, I need. I mean, give me a thousand yards rushing. You know what I'm saying? Seven TDs. I think, uh, can we can we move it up? We can move that up. We can move that up. So we go. Let's go 1,100 yards. You know what I'm saying? Nine touchdowns. Let's go double digit touchdown. Ten TDs. Let's give Josh Allen a break. You right, know what I'm saying he don't right. need to run the ball yeah. as often as he does, man. Right, right. Uh, I see the head nod. Well, He's in. Also, He's make in. Sure, make sure everybody else gets the ball too, because you're known for drafting almost all Bills players. I do. Yeah. I have a I have a bias. Yeah, I have a bias. Okay. I took Dawson. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Y'all, y'all heard it here. Well, hey, if Devin, I saw you last year. I don't know if I got to. This was after I talked to you last year. You got a cannon of an arm. I think I did talk to you about this. Yeah. Cannon of an arm right here. Kill the Rock? Oh, my God. Can, Ken Dorsey's got to get on that. Well, Dable, he, he let him loose a little bit. Mm. Uh, Dorsey, yeah. I, I, I know you said he's got that streak in him. Make yeah. sure you get that across the yeah. table, too. Right, before definitely. we get out of here, Madden co- the Madden cover is coming out. Are we, are we going to see anybody? Yeah, you guys got any hints on that? No, man. We don't know. Okay. Oh. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> I love that. We're going right. to leave it at that. Well, well that's, man, Devin, yeah. thanks so much for the time, as always. No doubt. Appreciate we'll you. See. King Corso, started here, and I'm not going to forget it. Yes, sir. Devin Singletary, thanks so much for joining us. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, boss.